Welcome back. We have escaped the Arcana only to end up here on this desolate planet. This ridge of sand helped stop the pod. And we crashed it, so we're not using it to get anywhere else. Let's just hope there's some kind of settlement on this planet or something that can help us uh, get off it. Because, quite frankly, I'm not ready to die. Uh, Alright, let's see what else is here. Uh, oh, oh yeah. That's, uh, that doesn't look good. I guess we'd better not wander too far or this thing will uh, kill us. You're at the northwest boundary of a massive skeletal structure. Sand stretches out in all other directions. A wide selection of skeletal accessories awaits your perusal. Vertebrae, ribs, and who knows what else rest upon the Coronian soil. The average height of this structure looks to be at least seven meters. Good thing you didn't meet this thing in its heyday. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. Um... I would not have wanted that. Probably, uh, maybe a sandworm type thing, like the one we just saw. Oh, it's the same message. Were you a proctologist, you might know what these oddly shaped bones are called. Y to you, though, they're just bones. Oddly enough, a plant grows in isolated spots on this inhospitable environment. Can we take some? You sm snag a small cluster of leaves from the gooey plant. That stuff sticks worse than the fortnight old undergarments. It's a good thing your gloves are teflite coated. Fortnight old undergarments. Thanks for that mental image. Does the plant smell like anything? You take a whiff of the plant and find it to be a regrettable experience. However, it does have an aroma reminiscent of a smell -o vision movie production of our friend the polymorph shrub, Nature's Bondo. You vaguely remembered something about it having an odd adhesive properties. It tells me that eating it is probably not a good idea. Do that and you'll never utter another stupid syllable in your life. On second thought, yeah, that would actually be an improvement. The planet itself does not have any smell. Oh well, let's um, move on. Oh, more uh, skeletal thingies. And another pit of plant, but nothing else. Let's see if we can follow the bones. The bones, though utterly dehydrated, still bear too much mass for the puny likes of you to displace. These bones have had the smell baked right out of them by centuries of relentless Coronian sun. Any soft tissue was long ago ingested by the local parasites. While it might make one heck of a soup bone, it bears no other appeal to your palate. Whatever. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot an object hurtling from the greenish atmosphere towards the parched surface you currently occupy. Uh-oh, what could that be? Oh, great, and I'm really close to it as well. Rats! If the eyes don't deceive, that's a Syrian spider droid. They must have detected the escape pod leaving the Arcada. The spider droid must have been sent along to settle any unfinished business. After the jarring impact, small panels open through which legs sprout. You recall reading in an old issue of Space Piston magazine that this droid was designed to seek out organic life forms and to self-destruct when a close proximity of the target had been achieved. And that's definitely bad news for us. Like I said, that's bad news.
How convenient! You've been blown into handy bite-sized chunks. I guess that Space Piston article wasn't fiction. There's nothing quite like stretching out and enjoying the wide open spaces. Well, that didn't go so well. Uh, fortunately, I save him between videos. Which does put us back here. You have to be a bit lucky there. If you're really close to it when it falls, then... Um, yeah, we've already seen you. Uh, then you... Uh, can't really get away. Like what just happened to me. Got some piece of the plan again. You do not want to do this while uh, the spider is on your tail. Because it won't stop to wait for you. Does anybody else have flashbacks of Dreamfall, by the way, with that spider? It usually drops on this screen. No, not this time, I guess. Hey! Okay, it doesn't say anything special, but we appear to be able to get onto the skeleton from here. And this is actually a safe spot. The spider will not be able to uh, get onto this. So you uh, don't have to worry about it. And that's a good thing, because it is now dropping down. Haha, <laughs> you can't get to me. Rats, the eyes on to see if that's a Sarian spider droid. And we already read that. And it moves off screen because it cannot detect us while we're up here. Of course, if we go back to the surface, uh, it will come back. Ooh, it's the head of whatever being this was. This must be the skull previously attached to the rest of the mammoth bones partially assembled here. And I do think that it is actually the same creature as the, the smaller one we saw near the pot, because it appears to have more than one eye cavity, and that creature also had more than one eye. It also looks like it's a cave. A section of vertebra, near where the head used to be attached, extends north and south. To the east is an ominous looking skull. By the way, that sandworm thingy, um, shy loot or whatever, um, you don't really need to worry about it. Only if you go away from the, uh, the skeleton, if you try to move to uh, the north, south, east, west, away from where the, uh, the skeleton is, will that become a problem. Oh, there's the droid again. The spider is quite relentless in its pursuit of organic beings. Your quandary is that, to the best of your knowledge, you are the only one in the area fitting that description. Yes, but it can't get to me here, so who cares? This appears to be the thoracic area of the spinal column of this meatless beast. Other than an obviously defective vertebra, you've got more sand and crud. What started out at one time as mere hairline fractures are now cl clearly cracks in the imperfect vertebral, vertebral module. Okay, hard word to say. Does the spider droid have a smell? You're not close enough to get it, give it a good whiff, if that's what you'd really like to do. If you've got a taste for chrome, step on up and give it a try. No, because then it'll blow up. Now, this thing looks a bit unstable. And indeed it is. I'd say that the widening of those cracks is an excellent indication that this thing is not a truly stable unit. And don't you hate the way it makes your brain bounce around like a handball and all that spare cranial space? Hey, are you implying I'm stupid? Again? Um... If you walk over this too often, it will, in fact, collapse. And, um... At least, unlike King's Quest 2, it actually is pretty obvious that that will happen. And it's one of the ways you can get rid of the spider droid. If the spider droid is under here, like it just was, and you walk over this thing, and it falls down... It will, um, die. 
It is, however, not the way I'm going to use. Also, you don't want to do it now, because you have to um, walk over here more than once. So if you drop the vertebra right now, you'll be stuck. I'll just keep uh, going along this uh, skeleton. This is the north-central boundary of a massive skeletal structure surrounded by arid terra not so firma. Um, can't say anything. Apparently there's nothing to be said about this hole. I like he's following us around. Even though he can't possibly um, get at us. What's it? What's this? It looks interesting, although hard to tell from where you're standing. It may be a sign. If you got closer, maybe you could read it. Can we smell it? That's much more logical than reading it. Oh, what the hell? It's a trap door. Hey, what's the deal here? That elevator doesn't lower, it sucks. Literally, in more than one way. Looks like we're in some kind of cave. But we'll have to continue in the next video.